Welcome back to our Portal 2 playthrough, you sexy fucking people. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Five hundred degrees, huh? Hmm. I see what's going on here. Just washes right off. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. He's a handsome devil. In this part of the game, I really have no idea what to do here. Oh yes, I do actually. Oh crap, where is it? Or, okay, blue one. Sorry, I lied to you. <laughs> I win! Rolling. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle can use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. All right, what to? All righty. Um. What? He just throw a load that guy in the cock. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation 
and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> So those are what they used in the 50s, huh? The test spheres. Now they have test chambers, which are squares, and then they were all like spherical and junk here. That's kind of cool. That makes me real happy, it does. Oh! Good day. Gas room. Big test chambers. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test-related. Okay. Jerk. Sure. to peanuts you might want to tell somebody now because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes on the bright side if we can make this happen they're gonna to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us so hang in there mm. the average human male is about 60% water as far as we're concerned that's a little extravagant so if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test that's normal we're gonna hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30% Wow. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. Hmm. Oh, this hop on. Sheep overboard. We captured your ship. Remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. Why? I don't understand. Just 
just don't make any sense to me whatsoever. Mm. Pretty sure I need to go down there. Or over there. One of the two. Test chamber. Trollolo. Trollolo. People are like, you've been saying Trollolo too much. And I'm like, Trollolo, you, you, sir. Did anything happen while I was out? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Boy, did I just. Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Your mob. Uh, Fun, fun. Yes, I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, oh, oh. In the fifties. Didn't do anything. However, this may. <laughs> 